I just purchased my most hated art supply from another country. So before we dive into this, I have some explaining to do. I just got back from a two week trip through Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. And in all three places, I stumbled across some art shops. Today, we are testing art supplies from Norway. And while I was there, I saw my most hated art supply. And if you don't know, my most hated art supply is oil pastels. For anybody who likes them, I am not hating on you. I'm actually proud of you for liking these. But the funny thing is, as people, we change and evolve. And lately, I've been thinking about trying oil pastels again. And every time in the past that I have tried oil pastels, I have been very quick to get rid of them afterward. Whether I give them to a friend, donate them, whatever. So I didn't have any, so I got some in Norway. Norway was a really fun country because we got to go hiking and see such beautiful landscapes and take boat rides through the fjords and just try tons of different types of food. And with that being said, it is such an honor to be able to come home and have art supplies from such a special place. So if you are from Norway and you are watching my channel, hello, shout out to you. Let me know if you've used any of the supplies in this video. I think the supplies that I'm about to show are pretty available in most parts of the world. So if you see these supplies and you've used them too, let me know. So I also got this cute little drawing pad and I can actually use gouache, tempera, paint, colored pencil, various things on this paper. So I will be incorporating some old faithful supplies that I have been using on my channel for years this watercolor paper. I'm also bringing back this really old palette that I have. I also got some other things in that art store, but before I show you, I'm just gonna roll some footage of me roaming around this store so you can experience it for yourself. Just a little warning, I am not the best vlogger. My husband was filming this and I'm a little shy in public, so if I'm acting different, that is why. <laughs> Let's go. supplies from different parts of the world. You want to get a paintbrush for your minis? Yeah, maybe. Can I see? What is this? It's just a pencil. Well, we have a lot of eerie choices. This looks like a little wheel of cheese. <laughs> I think this is chalk. What are you looking for? I thought it would be fun to do oil pastels. Well, that fit in our book bag today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I have what I want. What you got? Paper, pastels, erasers, pencils. Happy? Mm-hmm. I think so. This cute little wheel of eraser, it obviously reminded me of cheese, so I had to get it, and I'm really glad I did because it's really cute. I also got this eraser from the same brand because it looked like it would be really amazing quality. I got this really cute pencil, and I love the details along the edge. The base of it is a triangle, and I think these little dots will help me grip the pencil, so I'm excited to sketch with this. I also got this sketching pencil here. It is a flat pencil like this, and it is for sketching, what is the color, Venetian Red. I'll have to find my little blade thing to sharpen this because I can't put this in my pencil sharpener. But I'm really excited to use this. This will probably get used at the end of the video though. Have its own little moment. Let's get started and test out these supplies. Bye. 
By the way, if anything looks different in here before we went on vacation, we redid this room to make it feel more like an art gallery. So now all my art is in the background. I think it makes this place feel more like a home. Okay, let's open this box. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Senelier, mm. Senelier. I'm probably butchering that, which is probably bad because I see this brand everywhere, even here in the United States, but um, I've never actually said it out loud before, so that is a thick piece of foam to protect these, which makes sense because this cost a pretty penny to get these pastels. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. I am so excited to use these. And I'm also nervous because as I said, this is generally the art supply I don't like, but that's okay because I like to reevaluate this like every year, so I'm doing it. Let's bust out some watercolor brushes, paint water, and start with some mixed media fun. Wow, okay, this is a really good paintbrush. This is not from the haul, but it is newer. <laughs> okay, the underlayer is done. We're gonna let this dry and then go in with these beautiful pastels. Okay, because I was just in Scandinavia and saw a lot of folk art there, I think it would be fun to try something like that. Let's see what we do. Let's try it. Glad I have my little sketching pencil, huh? I'm gonna do the oil pastel over top of this. All right, let's go in with this little sketching pencil. Oh, I can try these erasers because I did mess up. Okay, I'm gonna do a little moth and then I'm gonna just like freehand some other things. The pencil works like any other pencil. I'm not like shocked or anything. This is from the brand called Lyra. It is the groove pencil. Let's get started with this part. I am so pumped for this. I think it's kind of fun to be doing this on watercolor paper. Ooh. It's like really textured. I'm gonna need some sort of blending apparatus. Hold on. Okay, I just looked around my art room and I found this little blending knife. I think these are for like pan pastels or something. I also have these little blenders. There's a bunch of different ones in here and I will probably use these ones. I'm just gonna use what I have and we'll make the best of this. But I'm so excited to dive into this because my wheels are already turning for what to do with this piece. Just open this up. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is like a baby Q-tip. So cute. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have some thoughts and I'm just gonna address this now. <laughs> this is the first time I think I've actually splurged on a really high-end set of oil pastels and I really like them. They're very creamy. I normally do not like oil pastels, but that leads me to the next thing I want to address in this video. We are all different artists and we come from all different places. So this is a thing that I think is really cool because there's so many different types of people here with different personalities and preferences. We all like and dislike different art supplies. And that is so beautiful, especially when all of these creative people are coming together on the internet to express themselves and share a thing that we have in common. There are also things that we don't have in common. And I think if you like a supply or if you don't like a supply, it does not mean you're doing anything wrong. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. If you don't like something, that's fine. That's awesome, because that means you like something else, you know? So I just wanted to say that here, I know I have hated on oil pastels a lot over the years, and I also know it's still not my favorite supply. <laughs> it's still on the lower end, you know? But I like them more than charcoal now, so. Anyway, if you don't like something, that's okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what? Oh no, I must have covered up the other circle. I'm just gonna cover it up. We'll pivot. You know, don't get down on yourself if you mess up. Just pivot, it's all good. <laughs> Oh, this blue is a lot lighter than I thought it would be. 
Okay, I wanna do a bright red color for this. Maybe a little bit of a darker red too. These two colors. So I think while I work on this, I'll talk a little bit about my experience with going to Norway and what we thought. I thought Norway was one of the most beautiful places on earth. We went hiking in Bergen and the landscape, like I've never seen landscape like this. I mean, I'm from the Midwest. The land is like flat and there's cornfields here. So for me to see like fjords and like the land to just drop off so deep down to the water and just, oh, giant stones everywhere and like lakes on top of the mountains and everything. Oh my goodness, that was wild. We took a boat ride at one point in the fjords and baby goats ran up to the boat. was amazing. I couldn't even believe it. Uh, the food was delicious. Everything about Norway was amazing. I mean, yeah, it is a very, very beautiful country and the people are very nice and yeah, nothing bad to say. It was a little bit colder than what I was used to, but I expected that. Anyway, I'm so glad that we got the opportunity to go there and just experience everything that we did. You know, I was debating on doing antenna, but I think I want to now. Now we're gonna get to the fun part. So I am going to do a bunch of different things around this moth to make it really folk arty. Let's see what happens. Let's take this beautiful green color and I'm just gonna draw like some flower stems or something. Oofy red flowers. I'm just gonna block some stuff in now. I think I'm not gonna do leaves on the inside. It looks cute the way it is. Okay, so I need to do something fun in the corners of this piece. What I'm thinking is like a fun white border, first of all. So let's just do that. I'll do little flowers in the corner here too. A lot of repetition of colors and shapes. Okay, I think I'll do some white dots here and there. Okay folks, now it's time for the fun part because we are going to do the background. I can't wait to do this part because I think it is going to make this piece pop. Right now I have this burnt sienna watercolor wash under it and I did that with the intention to make a little bit of it show through and leak through, give it some warmth, but we are about to add some cold color to this and I can't wait. So I have this dark blue pastel right here. This might take a lot of blending. I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna get one layer down. It's probably gonna look weird at first, but bear with me. Good things take time. This is low key really therapeutic. This kind of looks cool the way it's outlined right now. I kind of like the weird orange spaces. <laughs> I really like that I used a textured watercolor paper for this because as I said, I normally don't care for oil pastels, but something about using it on a paper with a lot of tooth has made this way more enjoyable. 
You know, part of me thinks leaving the paper peek through in these flowers is a very beautiful thing. So I might leave it. it just adds some really interesting beauty to this piece. Okay, I'm gonna take this to blend. finished this piece. So here's how this piece turned out and I am so happy with it. I wanted to do a really simple folk arty piece that was inspired by a lot of the stuff that I saw in Norway and so this is what I came up with. I decided to do a little moth in the middle because usually when I do folk art I do moths but when I was in Norway, I noticed there's a lot of botanical elements that are incorporated into their folk art. So here we are. I really enjoyed doing this piece, especially on a really rough watercolor paper. I feel like my experiences with oil pastel in the past were quite negative. And in hindsight, I think I used really smooth paper for all of those. And that probably just wasn't my preference. I know it is some people's preference and that's cool. Do what you want, you know? We're all artists, we can do what we want. But yeah, I, I think I like oil pastels on a rougher surface and then have a lot of texture and just like, if you look at this piece of paper, a lot of the watercolor that I laid down leaks through, which is exactly what I wanted. So I think I kind of found my way of liking oil pastels. And I'm excited to experiment with this a little bit more in the future. I think this is a huge step for me to even say that I enjoyed this because most of the time I use these things. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Let me know if you want to see me use these again on my channel. I, as I said, I thoroughly enjoyed it this time. And this is the first time I think I've ever enjoyed using oil pastels. This is generally my most hated art supply. But now I think I can bump charcoal down to my most hated art supply. I know that might upset some people, but that's all right. <laughs> I used most of this blue one and I'm glad I did. It was worth it. These little blenders here, they're made out of like sponges, very durable sponges actually. Worked really well. Much better than a blending stump, so. And much better than a Q-tip. <laughs> So I know this video is titled using my most hated art supply because this is like the main piece of the video. However, we do have some other supplies that I purchased in Norway that I would like to try. So let's give it a try. I tried this pencil and it's pretty much just like any other pencil. Great for drawing, not much to it. However, there's this pencil here that I said is a flatter pencil. We are going to try it on this pad of paper that I got. I'm really excited for this because, I don't know, ever since I was a kid, I always thought these flatter pencils were really cool. I think it's because a lot of people in my family do drywall and uh, just painting houses and stuff too. They always had these and we'll use this. I still can't believe I considered this a win this time. I feel like I usually never have anything good to say about oil pastels, but I was pretty happy with this experience. I feel like it has redeemed all of my previous negative experiences. And I got these in Norway, which makes it even more special. I have quite a few art supplies already by the brand Fabriano, or is it Fabriano? I don't know, but they make really good art supplies. Desegno, desegno, this is what it looks like. So let's try to sharpen this. I hope I'm doing this right. Wow, that was really satisfying. I have no idea if this is sharp enough or not, but we're gonna roll with it and just see. We have our little pad of paper open. So far, super smooth, wow. I'm just making up a little eye. It's interesting, like having this flat pencil is a just a different experience than like even this triangle one here. <laughs> Ooh, 
you know what we should do too? I forgot to test my little cheese thing eraser. It looks like cheese. I'm just gonna see if it erases this. Wow, that worked really well. I wouldn't say it's as good as a knead eraser, but it is pretty good. I'm gonna test this one once more. They're about equal. Okay, here's our cute little doodle with our cute little pencil. It was a good time. You know, it felt really refreshing to get back to my studio today after a really long vacation. We were gone for three weeks to come home and just test art supplies and goof off in my studio and not take art super seriously just felt much needed. Anyway, I bought art supplies at two other art stores over in Scandinavia, so I might do two more of these videos and we can just have some fun goofing off testing supplies over there too. I also might post a travel vlog which shows like all of our hikes and boat rides and everything like that over on my side channel, Freely Mira. It will not be an art video, it will be a travel vlog. I don't know when I will post that, just whenever I get around to editing it. But if you're interested in seeing that, I can link my side channel down below. Once again, it's just Freely Mira. I have posted previous trips and stuff over on that channel in the past. And yeah, that's like my just for fun channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you next week. Bye.